Okay, wait a bit, okay? Just wait. I don't know what's the issue. Uh, everything is fine with the uh, network also, but then also your my voice is not clear. It's clear now. Okay, surprising. I don't know what to do. Today's class will go like this or what? I think it's due to, um, it might be network issue, okay? So I'm in college right now, but I don't know what, what's issue, what's the issue with the network. But uh, here it's showing full network, but then also my voice is uh, cracking. It's like we are playing hide and seek. My voice is playing hide and seek. <laughs> okay, uh, fine, okay. Okay, please bear with me uh, with my network today, okay? Uh, for today, please uh, bear with my network. I'm very sorry. Uh, I don't know what's happening, but still, I just want to start the class.
Okay, are you able to see my screen? The screen is visible, right? Okay. Okay. Then uh, last class, uh, I think we uh, did uh, your uh, what we did. I also forgot. We did two numericals, right? I think uh, we did the sewage effluence. Two numericals we have done disposing of sewage effluence, CRCS. All those uh, two numericals we have completed uh, for your section, I guess. Okay, so after that uh, comes your zones of pollution in a river stream. Okay, so uh, like in a polluted river stream, okay, a river, uh, a river stream which is polluted, it has, you know, certain uh, zones. Okay, there are four types of zones that a polluted stream, uh, you know, uh, uh, is uh, undergoing, you know, self purification. It has four types of zones of pollution okay so what are they they are your number one is zone of degradation okay number two it is your zone of active decomposition number three is your zone of recovery and number four is your zone of cleaner water okay so this four points they are uh, like uh, might be your definitions might time uh, come also so let us first discuss what are these. So what is zone of degradation and zone of degradation? It is also known as your zone of pollution. Okay. So what is this? This zone, it is found for a certain length just below the point where sewage is discharged into the river stream. Clear? So this is the zone where uh, like it is just a length below okay it is just a distance below or a length below just for, from the point where you have you know discharged the sewage into the river stream okay and this zone how it is characterized it is characterized by uh, like when the water it is becoming dark and turbid okay when the water it is becoming dark and turbid with formation of what sludge deposits at the bottom okay if th those characteristics are uh, be, you know if you can see those characteristics then you can say that uh, this zone is your zone of pollution or zone of degradation clear and here the do do is what we have already learned it is your dissolved oxygen and dissolved oxygen is how much you, uh, i have uh, told you that it is so much important for the aquatic life isn't it so do content in in your zone of degradation it is reduced uh, by you can say about 40 percent of the saturation value okay and uh, there is an in, uh, with the decrease in a do content there is also a increase in carbon dioxide content okay there is increase in carbon dioxide content uh, sorry ca content reoxygenation occurs but it is slower than deoxygenation now what is reoxygenation reoxygenation is your like addition of uh, oxygen okay uh, and deoxygenation is what oxygen is going down okay and about this reoxygenation and deoxygenation we will be discussing in the coming uh, like topics okay we will get this uh, two terms so now it's said that it is said here that these conditions okay like the do content it is reduced by 40 percent then the uh, uh, you know like uh, the carbon dioxide content is increasing then the reoxygenation is occurring but it is lower than your deoxygenation and the water is becoming dark uh, and turbid with the formation of your sludge deposits so all those things you know these conditions are very unfavorable for what for the aquatic life 
for the development of your aquatic life okay and for if certain things are happening okay so what happens the algae dies algae dies then the fishes you know the fishes will die okay now uh, so all those aquatic life will be hampered if uh, these conditions are developing okay uh, then uh, this is your uh, this is about your zone of degradation or zone of pollution the other now the next zone is your zone of active decomposition so what is zone of active decomposition how can you characterize this uh, zone of active decomposition okay so this zone it is characterized by very heavy pollution okay very heavy pollution and then it is also characterized by how when the water it is becoming grayish okay grayish in color and darker than in the previous zone so in the previous zone the color was becoming dark okay but here it is more you know it is more dark and here it, the color will become almost grayish color okay and here the do concentration in your zone of pollution or zone of degradation the do is reduced by 40% we have learned yes but here the do concentration it falls down to zero okay it becomes zero and an aerobic conditions may set in with the evolution of gases like uh, here anaerobic conditions are developing okay with the evolution of what gases methane carbon dioxide hydrogen sulfide okay etc bubbling to the surface with masses of sludge formation and ugly scum layer at the surface so what it is said here is that in the zone of degradation only your carbon dioxide gas was evolved isn't it so there is an increase in carbon dioxide uh, gas in your uh, like zone of degradation but here along with your carbon dioxide gas certain other gases are also evolved and those are what methane hydrogen sulfide okay and uh, because of these gases are evolving evolution of these gases what does it do it forms a very ugly scum layer at the surface of the river or stream okay and as this organic or decomposition you know like it slackens due to the uh, stabilization of organic matter the reaeration sets and do again rises to the original level so here it says that as the organic decomposition it you know slackens uh, and it is due to the you know slab stabilization of the organic matter the reaeration or you can say the reoxygenation it sets in and the do content it again rises to its original level first it it, it is like uh, becoming zero and now again the do content it rises to its original value that is about what 40 percent okay so again like in this zone your bacteria okay bacteria flora will flourish so it is said that the bacteria here they will start growing okay they will flourish at the upper end anaerobic bacteria will replace what aerobic bacteria so what is anaerobic bacteria uh, everybody knows yes is it, it is in uh, absence of any uh, oxygen yes so at the upper end it is said that the anaerobic bacteria will replace the aerobic bacteria okay so uh, while at the lower end while at the lower end the position will be reversed like at the lower end your aerobic bacteria will take place of what an aerobic bacteria okay so uh, also like uh, there are different bacteria like protozoa fungi all those are bacteria isn't it so this protozoa and fungi they will first disappear then again they will reappear okay fishes life will be absent because obviously uh, so much of pollution so uh, do content again it is falling down so obviously fish life or aquatic life will be uh, totally absent in this zone okay then uh, algae and tubifax these are also like a kind of you know you have seen algae everybody have seen also it is are these will also be absent okay now next come is your zone of recovery okay after your zone of uh, uh, after wait after your zone of uh, active decomposition 
it comes your zone of recovery okay so what happens in this zone in this zone the river stream tries to recover from its degraded condition to its former appearance so here after you know so much of pollution is happening the color of the water is becoming grayish in color uh, the aquatic life is hampered everything is everything bad happens in your active decomposition zone so now in this zone of recovery from the name itself recovery so what is happening it is recovering okay so from its bad position or you can say from its degraded condition okay it is trying now the river stream it is trying to recover okay from its degraded condition to its former appearance like how it was before okay so now here the bod the bod it falls down and also the do content it rises above 40 percent of the saturation value now the do content at the active decomposition you have learned that the do content it falls to zero but now here in the zone of recovery the do content it rises above 40 percent which is a very good thing for the aquatic life okay now protozoa rotifers okay so these are uh, like so plants in the aquatic life okay in river or stream these are the uh, plants okay so these will also reappear okay then bottom organisms will include like snails mussels tubifacts these are bottom organisms okay so these will also like include in the bottom part of the river now next is your not next the last is your zone of cleaner water okay so what happens in the zone of cleaner water in this zone the river it attains its original conditions with do rising up to the saturation value okay so here it is a clean one zone of cleaner water here it, uh, water is clean so in this zone the river attains its original conditions with do rising up to the saturation value okay which is a very good thing water becomes attractive in appearance okay and game fish which requires at least four to five milligram liter of do and and usual aquatic life prevails so game fish it's a kind of it is a fish okay it's a fish uh, which requires a do content of how much it's four to five milligram per liter okay so here since the do content is rising up to its saturation value so here everything you know like the aquatic life usual aquatic life so these are again you know reappearing in the river and and the water it also be, it's becoming attractive in appearance okay some uh, and then some pathogenic uh, organisms however they may survive and remain also if they may be present okay which confirms that the fact that when once a river water has been polluted it will not be safe to drink it unless it is properly treated so this line what it says is that how much you know uh, like self purification of river is there but then also after a river it has been polluted it is uh, though the river has the characteristic of self purification but then also the river water it is not safe to drink at all okay unless the river water it is given proper treatment of uh, like proper treatment okay so this are the four zones of your river stream so you should know what does each zone uh, says and what are the do content so what is happening in each zone you should know uh, it properly okay so next is your okay next is your the oxygen deficit of a polluted river stream okay so here actually uh, it's a kind of uh, you can say it's a kind of uh, expression okay it's a expression but I don't think uh, you need this but you have to remember the ultimate expression okay no need to go for the derivation no need to go for the derivation just you need to know 
the ultimate expression okay but let us first see so uh, the what is the topic it is the oxygen deficit of a polluted river stream so that means how much of oxygen it is less deficit means what you know like uh, less okay minus deficit something is uh, lower okay so that the oxygen deficit d it is suggested by uh, like uh, oxygen deficit it is um, termed as capital d okay so the oxygen deficit at any time in a polluted river stream is the difference between the actual DO content of water at that time and the saturation DO content at the water temperature. Okay, just a second. okay so like it is the what is your oxygen deficit it is the difference between your saturation do and the actual do okay so uh, like you can see the uh, formula it's given here okay oxygen deficit is equal to saturation do minus actual do now in order to maintain a clean conditions in a river so the oxygen deficit it must be nil okay the oxygen deficit it must be nil and this can be only be found out by knowing the rates of what deoxygenation and reoxygenation just now uh, uh, while doing the zones of pollution we have got these two term okay so in order to maintain your clean conditions in a river the oxygen deficit value it must be nil and uh, the this can be found out by what by the rates of deoxygenation and reoxygenation now there are uh, there is one certain uh, uh, diagram you can see this one okay so this is the oxygen uh, this diagram is known as your oxygen sag curve in a river receiving discharge of sewage okay so this is a oxygen sag curve in a river receiving discharge of sewage so the vertical part the vertical part you can see it says your do content okay it gives your do content and the horizontal part it gives your time of flow from the point of pollution okay and there are three curves you can see this is curve one okay this is curve one going down then curve two is this one okay and this is curve three okay so what does does this three curve says okay so number one curve it says your deoxygenation curve okay this the going down one is your deoxygenation curve or you can say curve showing depletion of do in the absence of aeration depletion of do means what do is becoming nil okay depletion it means uh, minus okay depletion of do in the absence of aeration without the absence of means in the absence of oxygen also you can say okay now this second one the second curve it says it gives your reoxygenation curve okay it gives your reoxygenation curve that is do content supply how much of do it is you are supplying so this curve gives you the reoxygenation curve now number three is your uh, curve three this one 
Curve three is your oxygen sac curve or oxygen deficit curve. Okay, so the, that is the actual DO content or oxygen balance. Clear? So this thing we have learned just now in the formula. So it is shown by one oxygen sac curve diagram. Okay, so here uh, now let us see the oxygen deoxygenation curve okay so here it is said that in a polluted stream the do content goes on reducing due to decomposition of volatile organic matter okay this one uh, we know that in a polluted river stream do you, you know like decomposition is happening decomposition of organic matter is happening due to the microorganisms present so in uh, due to that your do content it is uh, decreasing every day okay now now the the rate of deoxygenation okay the rate of deoxygenation it depends upon the amount of the organic matter remaining to be oxidized at the given time as well as on the temperature of reaction okay so here the rate of deoxygenation that is your with time what is rate with time okay so the deoxygenation the rate of deoxygenation it depends upon what it is depends upon the amount of organic matter remaining to be oxidized okay and hence at a given temperature the curve showing depletion of do with time that is deoxygenation curve is similar to the first stage bod curve so uh, if you can remember we have done the bod chapter uh, while we were doing the bod chapter there was one curve okay i uh, we have done the derivation also so do uh, with there uh, the curve it is similar okay here the deoxygenation curve you can see so this is your deoxygenation curve and there also uh, bod curve was also similar okay now next is your reoxygenation curve so like in order to counterbalance the consumption of do due to deoxygenation atmosphere supplies oxygen to the water and the process is called reoxygenation since you know the uh, like the do content is it is being depleted so now you have to balance okay so do uh, since uh, it happens due to like deoxygenation now the atmosphere it is supplying oxygen to the water and this process is known as what it is known as your reoxygenation okay now the rate at which the oxygen is supplied by the atmosphere to the polluted water it depends upon what it depends upon the depth of the receiving water so what is the depth of uh, like the, the river stream okay the river stream what is the depth of the water or the river stream because the rate if the, the rate is more in a shallow depth okay now the what is the condition of the body of the water okay then number three is your the saturation deficit or the oxygen deficit and number four is your the temperature of water so all these four factors it depends on how like the atmosphere is supplying water to the uh, river stream so okay it this depends upon these four factors now for this <coughs> oxygen deficit um, okay now the oxygen deficit curve if uh, the definition comes like what is an oxygen deficit curve so here is the definition you can see that in a running polluted stream exposed to the atmosphere the deoxygenation as well as the reoxygenation go hand in hand if deoxygenation is more rapid than the reoxygenation and oxygen deficit results okay so these both these processes your reoxygenation and deoxygenation it goes in hand in hand and if the deoxygenation it is more rapid than your reoxygenation then what happens an oxygen deficit results okay so um, the for the oxygen deficit one you just remember this last uh, formula okay this formula you see this formula you remember this formula okay L dc into f to the power f minus 1 is equal to f 1 minus f minus 1 d naught by 
L. Okay, so this is like a first stage equation in which L is the BOD. So here L is the BOD of the mixture of the sewage and stream. Okay, L is the BOD of the mixture of sewage and the stream, and here F. Okay, F corresponds to the temperature. Okay, F uh, co corresponds to temperature of the mixture of sewage and stream at the outfall. Okay. Actually, for your semester, uh, all these things no need to go in depth. Later, when there will be elective subject of Enviro in 7 sem, maybe if you take that subject, then uh, you have to go in depth. Okay, but for uh, fifth semester, uh, since you are doing both the sewage and the raw engineering, raw water engineering part, it's not uh, necessary to go in depth about each and every derivations here. Okay, so. Um, Again, one thing you can remember is that the this entire derivation of your reoxygenation and deoxygenation it is uh, like uh, expressed in the form of famous one equation name is there. You remember this name, streeter phelps equation. Okay, streeter phelps equation. Okay. Okay, so next class, next class means at uh, uh, like uh, you join at 10.30, okay, you join at 10.30, we will be doing this numerical, okay. Now I think only 5 minutes is left for your class to end. I will share one another link. Okay, you join by that one. So we will be doing one. This uh, numerical we will do. And then we will continue with your disposal on land. Okay. Disposal on land we will also do a little bit. Up to here we will do in the next class. Okay. Okay, then you join at 1030. I will share one new link. Okay. Okay, you can uh, leave this meeting.